everybody, welcome to Stitchmas Day 10! Quick disclaimer before we start, we are filming this at a very different time of day to what I normally film, so therefore the dishwasher's going off and I do film in the kitchen, so that's the noises you can hear. I can only apologise, it's been a very busy day um, and we're only just doing this now at quarter to five, so please accept my apologies. So I have a very special guest on my video today. This is my daughter Lily. Hello. <laughs> she is going to be my superstar helper today. Uh, she is a stitcher. It does run in the family. And um, you've made lots of things, haven't you? Yeah. Lots of cushions. <laughs> She's done zips. All sorts. Yeah. She's a pro, practically taking over the family business, aren't you? I've made about six or seven pillows. Six or seven pillows, yeah. <laughs> Make them with grandma, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. On your own sewing machine? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be making a mug rug today and it's not just a normal mug rug, it's a quilt as you go mug rug. I thought that after the hexagon one had been so popular and so successful and everyone loved it so much, we'll do a really quick um, quilt as you go mug rug that is just strips. So this is going to be really fun. Lily's going to do the stitching, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. She's like, am I? I'm doing the <laughs> stitching. Uh, but before we start, we've got a giveaway, haven't we Lily? Yeah. So what are we giving away? These fat quarters, that's right, good girl. <laughs> so there's four fat quarters here. They're all tilda, they're all green, and they're all absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so what have you got to do to enter the competition? You have to comment the best elf name. Yes, we've got a new elf. Um, it's a girl elf, we should say, shouldn't we? Yeah. So the best girl elf name. Pop it in the comments below. We'll pick one at random. Um, or maybe you'll choose your favourite. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, you'll choose your favourite. Lily will choose her favourite and we will reply to that comment um, on Tuesday, probably about this time. So about quarter to five, um, we'll comment on that, won't we, when you've chosen. And we'll send those out to you. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is choose some strips that we want. So we've got some strips here and I'm going to let you choose what colours you like, Lily. So we've got yellow, you want a mixture of colours, so just choose which ones you like best of all. There might be one that you really don't like, so let's lay them out for you. Yellow, like a denim, mottly blue, a brown. Is there any ones that you particularly like? There are your choices. Or do you like all of them? Or do you like none of them? <laughs> They're all the same. So, oh no, not that one. Well done. I like that one. You like that one? So we'll go for that one. Any others? Yeah? That one and green. And the green. So what we'll do is we'll find family trait, throw it on the floor. <laughs> right, well done. I'm, I'm organised, like your stitcher. I thought you had to. So what we're going to do is we've already backed our piece, haven't we? So this is... Uh, nine inches by six and a half inches for a little mug rug. We've backed it with some fabric, we've used our June Taylor spray and we've attached the wadding on. Now what we're going to do is sort of a crazy patchwork technique quilt as you go. So Lily, we're going to start off with which colour? Which one would you like first? Yeah, this one. Nice and easy as it's in my hand. <laughs> it's like you knew I wanted you to choose that one. <laughs> so I'm going to cut these off at six and a half inches. I'll do this because it's. You hold on to that for me. Six and a half inches. Did you say you hold on to it for me. You you keep your eye on it for me then. <laughs> oh, she keeps you right, this kid. Right, so I will cut two of these. Uh, my ruler is six and a half in width, so that's why I can just cut it like that. So two of those. Is this the same one? Yes. Yep. Two of this one. I think I was cutting the, cutting the ruler there, Lily. <laughs> Two of those. Two of these. Clear the decks. 
righty only. So we're starting with this one. Now what you need to do is that this one is the only one you place face up because that's your starting one. So whenever you're doing a quilt as you go, you start normally with one face up and then you quilt as you go from there. So we'll place this one on. Now this one can just go on straight. Okay, so we can just leave that for now. So your next color is going to be which one? Uh, those are the same. That's the same. Oh, I've done, seem to have done four of those ones. <laughs> which one do you want next? The green. The green. So, as we're doing this as, as crazy, yeah. what you would normally do with the quilt as you go is you would place this one on top, right sides together, you would stitch quarter of an inch and then you would turn it over like this so that on the back you had it already quilted. But what we're going to do is we're going to put it on an angle. We'll probably put, we can even put it further in. So you don't need to use that as your line, you can put it further in. And then if Lily stitches along there straight, we'll have that at an angle. And then the next one we'll do at an angle and that's how we'll go along, okay? So we'll pin this down for you. Now just mind those pins when you're using the machine. Yeah. So which, however I lay this on, this, the top one is the seam you're gonna follow. Okay. All right, does that make sense? So I'll just pin that down. So I go a little way from the edge. A yeah, quarter of an inch. So if you, if you ever worry about what quarter of an inch is, if you look here, see this line on the foot? That line there? Yeah. That's quarter of an inch. So if you put your, if you lower your foot, no, nope, your foot. Oh, right. <laughs> no, <Nope>. foot. <laughs> Where is this That's, thing? No, gently, gently. <laughs> and then you lower your needle. Yeah. So as long as this line here is level with these spikes, that'll be quarter of an inch. Okay. So pop your foot on, hold your fabric, and just let that get fed through. Mind your fingers and mind that pin, remember? Okay. You can slow down if you want to. Okay, good girl. And then lift your needle up. Yep, yeah. foot up. Put up, take it to the side, Have and here's the, here it is, this side, that's it, good girl, well done. I didn't have one of them. So, <laughs> take out the pin, and then when we fold it back, it's on a nice jaunty angle, but it's also nicely quilted at the back here, okay? So, what colour now? This one, because it's the only one I've cut. Yeah. So now we'll go this way. So can you see, I know it's a bit tricky because I haven't got the overhead <laughs> today. So what you would normally do is you'd place that two seams together if you're carrying on in a straight, but we're going to bring that end in like this. Let's do it a bit even more jaunty, Lily. <laughs> Let's really go to town. Pin that into place. So let me show you. So that's what we've done. We're not worrying about chopping off these excess. So now Lily is just gonna follow this line of the blue. So here we go, Lily. Pop your foot down first gently, so hold, keep hold of it and lower it down manually. Good, hold your threads, pin your threads down, that's it. Now lower that needle, good girl. Now you can let go of your threads now and you're away to go. Just hold on, I'm gonna have that, I'm just gonna turn that pin round. <laughs> so I didn't mean to pull your hands out of the way there but I can see you've been snapped. Now you're gonna follow that blue. And just so you know, you can use the side of this if you're not worried, if you don't wanna do that line, just use the side of the foot. That's it. A bit faster. Good, Lils. Good. Yep. Don't need to worry about that because it's already up. And clip it off. Good. Excellent. Pin out. Fold it over. <laughs> that looks really good, doesn't it? And you can see it, it's already quilted, like you know on the back of a quilt when it comes through. You've already done that. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. So now we'll move on to this one. No, that's the we same one. That one. This, this one. one. <laughs> so we're gonna do, we can either do go the same, or we can go like this, so it's triangly. Which would you like to do? Triangle. Yeah, tri triangly. <laughs> triangly. <laughs> so we will place that, uh, let's do like, so, pin, so 
let's show you what we're doing. We're now going at this angle. So there you go. Hold your threads. Good girl. That's it. And then follow that line. nice having manual labour. <laughs> You're hired. Fold that one out. That's coming together really nicely. Coming together really nicely. Okay, next one. Green. Yeah. So if we're doing a jaunty, let's do this way. Yeah. So if we place it like this. Oh, let's go to town and really do it like that. There we are, now follow that one. Do you see how quick this comes together? Because we're nearly done, we're nearly done the front. Hold your threads, lower your needle. Good girl. because that's where we're stitching. Do you see what I mean? So we can do it this one and then that will be the last one. So if we have that one straight, we can go straight to the end. So let yeah. me show everyone who's watching. We're gonna have this last one straight and then when we fold over, it will be perfectly straight at the side for binding. So let's line that up. There we go, just on straight on that one then, Lily, please. Put threads. That's it. Good girl. No, ah, needle, needle. Put, put your needle up. That's it. Keep going. That's it. Now that will release. Good girl. Why do you always hand it to me upside down? Because you're awkward, little tiny. <laughs> right, so now we're going to turn the iron on. Right, pop that on the floor for me so it's out of the way. Just mind yourself on this, please. Hold the handle. Hold the handle. Take it to the floor. Take it to the floor. Mm. Right, mind the iron. So, just mind that. Can we sort places? <laughs> I don't like you being next to that. Right, while we're waiting for the iron to heat up, we're gonna choose a coloured strip for the binding. So you know the ones we threw on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Which which colour do you want for the binding? So that's the thing that goes all the way around the outside. You can choose one of these. What about the gold? Gold for the outside? Or do you want green? I think green. Oh, you're green. <laughs> thought, thought I was settling in for the night there, Lily. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna press this. Oh, superb, Lily. Green. You're pushing the table, darling. <laughs> right, I'm gonna trim this up so that it's perfect. So, remember that my ruler was exactly six and a half inches. Just trim that, get rid of all those extra threads. Oops. Trim. We trim it all up, Lily, so that when we're putting the binding on, there's nothing there that's going to be in the way. Right. What do you think about your, your work? It looks really cool. It does look really cool. <laughs> So for the binding, 
if you've watched the last few videos I've done where there's been things with binding, we're gonna do it exactly the same way. So taking our two and a half inch strip, fold it in half and press. Now I'll stitch the binding, Lily, because it gets a bit complicated around the corners. I'm, I, I mean, I'm sure that you could do it, but, you know, we're on a, we're on a time scale. We're on a time scale, kid. We're going to place the binding at the top. We're going to pin two inches in, and we're going to start our stitch from that two inches. Don't forget to have the open edge of the binding going along the top there. So we'll start, actually I'll start the other side so it's easier for me to stitch along. Okay, turn that. So stitch all the way to the end. Do you want to look, Lily, so that you can learn? So you can stitch all the way to the end. You can um, lift your foot up. And I always just take that off. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this back. So you've got a um, fold here that lines up beautifully with that corner. Can you see that? And then you're gonna take this and you're then going to carry on your stitch along that one, okay? So again, you start right from the corner. And you do the same for every corner. Whoopsies. Right, then what we're going to do is take the one that's got the end of, from where we started. We're going to fold that over. Now, I do like to give that a little press. So then cutting the long strip down until you've got just an inch left, like so, you're going to take that and you're going to tuck that inside the one where you folded. like so and then you're just going to carry on that stitch see how easy that is to join that together that's just a simple way it's not the neatest way but it's a simple way now trim off all your threads this would be easier if i could find my scissors but such is such is the way of today now we open these all up, Lily, and we fold it round. Can you see that? And then we're going to press those round. So we'll bring in the iron again. That looks really good. It does. <laughs> You've chosen excellent colours. So just press this. Oh, Lily, it's lovely. It's what reminds me of mountains. So turning it over, we're gonna take that binding and we're gonna flip it round. So now that is the edge that was already folded. So when that's on the reverse, that's really lovely and neat, isn't it? So flip that round and then we press that. And if we want to, we can pin it. And I think we will want to. Oh, well done, you've got one there you've been fiddling with. <laughs> so just pinning that. You want to make sure this binding covers up the stitch that you've done for the binding at the front. And it should do, no problem. And then when you come to the corners, you're just gonna fold it over, fold it over on itself, and you've got a really nice neat corner, do you see? So you should just take the long edge, fold it over, take the short edge, fold it over, and you've got that edge there. So we're gonna finish this off camera. We're just gonna then stitch in the ditch all the way around and we'll be back when we're done. So there we are, Lily's finished mug rug. Are you pleased with it? Yeah. Just lower it down so no one can see your face. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, really good color choices. That binding sets it off beautifully. I'm really proud of you, well done. So thank you everybody for watching Stitchmas Day 10. We'll see you on Monday for Stitchmas Day 11 and um, another fun video planned. Thanks for watching, bye!